Hey guys, this is Hannah, Bailey, and Mariah, and today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Access Chapter 1. And what you want to do um, first is you want to go under the Start button, and you want to click on Microsoft A Access 2007. Um, and once you enter that, you want to click on Blank Database, and you want to delete whatever is under the file name, and you want to type JSP Recruiters as the file that you want to be uh, you want to call it and you want to go under browse folders to the right of that um, entry and you want to go under the USB that you have and save JSP recruiters under that USB and once you're done with that you want to click create right under JSP recruiters when you have your new file your new um, table under add new field you want to rename it um, client name uh, client number and under the next field, you want to name it client name, the next one, street, city, state, postal code, and finally under that one, amount paid. And under amount paid, once you're done um, under that, you go under data type under the data sheet tab, and you want to click on currency to make sure that the amount paid will be in the format of the currency. And uh, in the next field after that, you want to type current due and then recruiter number in the next field. And you want to enter to finish your complete to complete your entry. And once you ex once you save it, you want to save the table name under client. And then once you you're done saving, you want to go under view and change it to design view. And right now ID is in the primary key, but you don't want that, so you want to delete the row and you want to make client number the primary key. So go under design and while selecting client number, click pri primary key to make sure that client number will be the primary key. Then you want to exit out of your client table. Then once you go on client table, click open to open it up again. And you want to enter a bunch of um, data for the client table, such as um, AC34 under client number and under client name Alice Clinic and so um, and so on until you're done and then you want to exit out of it with the navigation pane closed and you want to exit out of access altogether then go back to the start and go under off uh, Microsoft Office access and under the open recent database go on more and under the file where you save JSP recruiters find it and open it and just as a security warning, you want to make sure that you click OK under the security alert if that so pops up. Then under client table, you want to open it up again by right clicking. And you want to enter a bunch more um, uh, data into the table to make sure that you get a nice little um, graph in, in the future. Then you want to go on table to, get, to create a brand new table. And you want to rename the add new field button recruiter um, number and then under uh, after recruiter number on the next add new add new field button you want to type last name and then under the next one first name and then you want to type street city state postal code and rate under all these add new field buttons and right under rate, you want to go to the data sheet and under data type, click on number. And right after that, uh, to the right of the rate, rename the add new field column, um, commission. And uh, under commission, you want to go under the data type and you want to type in, you want to click currency for under commission. Then you want to save it as the table name as recruiter. And you want to click OK to make sure that you have the recruiter table. And then you want to exit out of recruiter and uh, go to uh, the primary key. But you can't delete it under the client table, so under the recruiter table. So you have to go to another view. So go under view and go to design view and delete ID, the um, column. Because uh, you don't want that column, and make sure that 
Under Recruiter Number, you click Primary Key under Design to make that one the primary key. Then once you're done with that, you want to click on the race to get the uh, field properties for it. And under the general, go on field side and uh, click on the down box arrow and click on single for the field size. And for the format, you want to click uh, general number under the drop down arrow. You want to click fix instead of general number, sorry. And under the decimal places, instead of auto, click two. This will allow you to have two decimal places in the numbers you so choose to include. And then once you're done with that, you want to exit out of this, um, the recruiter table, and go back to your client table. And um, once you've exited out of client table, reopen um, recruiter table by right clicking it and clicking open. And then under recruiter number, you want to add a bunch of different information, such as 21, then um, Carrie under last name, Alyssa under first name, and 261 pointer under street, then um, a bunch of other information that has appeared right now that we entered to save you the time. And when you're done with that, you want to exit out of, out of the recruiter table and go on client table and go on create and click on report wizard under the reports box. This allows you to make a, uh, a field report and under available fields, add client number, client name, amount paid, current due, and recruiter number in the selected field. Then you want to click on next and you don't want to have any grouping levels. So click on next again. And that will lead you to the sort order you want for the records. And under the first box, under ascending, click the drop down box, the drop down arrow and click client number. You don't want any other sort order though, so go to next and make sure that your layout is tabular and the orientation is portrait. Go on next and the style should be module. Then go on next again and you want to retitle your report. Instead of client, type in client financial report. When you're done with that, click on finish and you'll get your new report. Then you want to go on client table again. Once you've exited out of your client financial report, go on client table, click on create again. And um, then you want to go on report wizard as well to make another uh, re field report. And this time under the available fields, you want to enter client number, client name, street, city, state, postal code, and then you want to click next once you're done with that and you don't want to have any grouping levels so you click on next as well and for the ascending part of the sort order you want to click on the drop down arrow and click client number and you don't want any other sort order so you click next then you click next again and you click next again because you already have the style and the layout you want and uh, you want to retitle your report instead of client type client address report and click finish and you'll get your brand new uh, client financial report but this one is a client address report because you, cho you chose different uh, formats and different data to include in your report. This time you want to go on recruiter table and you want to click on create and report wizard to make another field report and for the available fields you want to include recruiter number, last name, first name, um, and you want to click rate and commission. Then you want to go on next and uh, you don't want any uh, grouping levels. So click on next again. And for the sort order, you for the ascending, you want to click recruiter number. You want to click next and you want to click next because you have the right layout. You want to click module for the style and click next. And you want to retitle your report instead of recruiter, type recruiter financial report. And once you're done with that, you want to click finish and you've got your recruiter financial report. Then you want to go to recruiter table again after exiting out of recruiter financial report and go under report wizard again. And um, for the selected fields this time, 
click recruit a table, recruit a number, last name, first name, street, city, state, and postal code. Then you want to click next. And once you're done with that, you uh, don't want to have any sort orders. You click next. And under ascending, you want to click recruiter number. And you want to click next. Uh, but the th before you do that, you want to change your landscape, uh, the orientation to landscape. And then you want to click next, and you have the right style, so click next. And then for the title, instead of recruiter, type recruiter address report and click finish. And you'll have your brand new recruiter financial report. When you exit out of it, uh, make sure that it's all saved because you don't want to lose all your work. And then you want to go to client table and click split form and um, for for this you just want to exit out of the field um, the field column box and when you save it you want to save the form name as client form instead of just client and you want to click OK and then you want to go to uh, the drop down box um, you, you want to make sure that down below in the uh, the grid you click the right report just to make sure that they're all um, correct and you have all the right data you you want to have in there, uh, especially under BH72, under the right postal code. Then you want to change it to 80349. Then uh, once you're done with that, you want to go to the uh, uh, drop down menu at the top and click on manage and then database properties. And you already have the right title but you want to change the author to make sure that you know that you wrote it. So in this case, instead of information security, we would write uh, Bailey, Mariah, and Hannah. And then we would click OK uh, once we're done with that. And we move to the next one, which is subject. And our class is Intro to Computing 7B. So that's what we would type in. And then for the keywords, you would type in healthcare then comma, and this will help you uh, find your, uh, your document. And then you want to type in recruiter as well and click OK. And once you're done with that, then you're done with your uh, entire 